What does it take to write a book that transforms readers' lives? It's an important question because if you answer it right, you have the ability to literally transform readers' lives from around the world, or as I like to say, people you've never met in places you've never been. So what really underpins a book that has a transformational lasting effect on readers? Think first about a book or books that you've read that have actually had a lasting impact on your life. I can think of a handful for me from Think and Grow Rich to Atlas Shrugged, from fiction to nonfiction, it doesn't really matter. But when you think about it, the way that you feel before opening that first page, the way that you feel picking up that book for the first time compared to when you're turning the final page and getting down to the final words, how do you feel different? What changed? What shifted? What perspective altered in your life experience as a result? So think about that and go through that thought exercise and you don't have to do it right now, but what I want you to do is start to map how you can create a transformational arc in your book, meaning a through line or something that actually sits above or between the individual chapters, in between the individual words, that's really um, an arc, as it were, or a passage or a bridge from where that reader's life is as they pick up your book and read it to where it will be when they're done. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. So let's use a couple examples from books that we've published here at Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Press. I've got one that I particularly love, Being Called to Change by Dale Holloway. Let go of all that no longer serves you and grow into your full potential. This is, in fact, a book about transformation and change. And so, you know, as you pick up the book and as you come into reading it, meaning you're attracted to something about the title, the subtitle, the cover, or the marketing that you saw that led you to the book. So you're probably coming into it from a trajectory of maybe I'm ready to change something in my life. Maybe it's a career, a relationship. Maybe I'm just curious about how to manage change better because the world is changing and you can't stop it. So if that's the vector that you're coming in on, what the book seeks to do is equip you with a lot of different tools, strategies, personal stories and anecdotes, and ultimately, um, you know, a, a bunch of different ways to help you realize that transformational arc such that when you finish the book and you've done the exercises and you've thought through and read the content and seen the different ideas that are in there, you should be much more equipped to both recognize when change is coming and in terms of what are the indicators of impending change, um, have a better attuned sense of listening to your inner guidance and observing external stimulus that means change is coming, and then how to navigate that, which, you know, as the book and the book title suggests, really comes down to letting go of all that no longer serves you. So in this case, the arc and the equipment given to help that transformational journey is the process of letting go and releasing the emotional connections, the interrelationships, the financial relationships, the marital relationships, whatever it is that's no longer serving such that you can grow into your full potential. And so that becomes the delivery, the, the book itself is the delivery mechanism to go from somebody who's uh, experiencing change or knows changes on the horizon or wants to change or manage change better to somebody who's equipped to recognize the indicators of impending change to recognize when something's no longer working and have the tools and the support and the encouragement to let that go. So that's a transformational arc delivered through the book. And that really, thinking of a book in this way, sort of in parallel, but also independent of the individual chapters and the specific content you're writing about, but thinking of it in terms of where someone's at when they pick it up and where you want them to be when they're done, that helps fit the book better into your overall business and also into your reader's life by delivering a succinct but powerful promise 
And, you know, in this case, being called to change, let go of all that no longer serves you and grow into your full potential speaks to somebody who's, um, who's, who's interested and comes across this book. Let's use another example uh, in a different genre. So here is uh, one of our books that we published in 2017, The Concussion Repair Manual, A Practical Guide to Recovering from Traumatic Brain Injuries by Dr. Dan Engel. Fantastic guy. Great book if you've ever gotten knocked in your head uh, or had a brain trauma of some sort. But with the concussion repair manual, the arc is one such that somebody's coming into this book looking for information on concussions, looking at and reviewing and ultimately buying a book called the concussion repair manual. Probably safe to assume that that person or somebody they love has experienced a concussion or a traumatic brain injury. So that's the the starting point, right? Looking for more information on concussions and how to heal them. And then the transformation arc is a combination of Dr. Dan's personal story, which is right in the beginning of the book about diving into a, uh, you know, a body of water that was too shallow and smashing his head and his journey to recover from that, ultimately becoming a doctor and now helping thousands and thousands of people recover from brain injuries. So his journey illustrates part of the arc and then the tools and the number of strategies and the way that they're flagged such that, you know, if it's of particular interest to you, there's different indicators in the book, like um, these different icons represent different types of brain trauma. So as a reader is going through, you can get even further cues on whether this section or the treatments recommended are relevant to their situation. So it creates an arc for people with different types of brain trauma concussion uh, to find and define a protocol to help them recover and then actually gives them uh, trackers and uh, a way to qualitatively and quantitatively see the improvement in that condition so that at the end of the book, you're better equipped to deal with the recovery process for your brain injury and also have a wide array of tools and all of the information and a professional perspective on each one. So now you're equipped with the different resources should symptoms flare up, something happen again, or somebody that you know experience a brain trauma. So that's the transformational arc in this book in terms of recovering brain health, recovering brain function, recovering brain activity. Um, and, and thinking of a book in this way, really what I want to get to with both of these illustrations from Being Called to Change and the Concussion Repair Manual are just two examples from our catalog, but really you can think through books that have had trans transformational <laughs> impact on your life and think of it through the lens, through the perspective of, you know, what were you, what was your life situation coming into discovering that book? What was that onboarding trajectory? And then after you finished it, what was different? What did you do differently? How did you act differently? How did you behave differently, etc.? And therein lies the arc. And it's another way of looking at the structure and content flow of a book for the specific purpose of creating a transformational impact. So hope that is helpful in terms of how to write a book that has a transformational impact. If you are working on a book that has transformational potential, I want to talk to you. My team wants to get to know what you're working on at Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Press. So reach out. There'll be a link below where you're watching this video. And we'd love to learn more about your transformational book. And with that, hope uh, that you go out there and write well and have success in this author journey. I'll see you in a future video.